Hey guys, Kenny Muckup here, and welcome back to another custom Lego build video. Uh, today, I'm going to be taking a look at my custom Lego Five Nights at Freddy's 3 Spring Trap. Uh, now, I've had this guy built for a little while. I uh, just haven't put him in a video, uh, just because I'm lazy. <laughs> but, here he is. Here's Spring Trap. Um, uh, I tried to stay with the same sort of, um, theme as the other animatronics with, uh, still adding stuff to it. Um, so he's still pretty simple. Uh, he's got a few spots on him that are, like, dark green. Those are to, uh, sort of show, I guess, mold or grossness. This piece is just here. For aesthetic reasons, it's just there to look good. Um, you can see he's got some holes in him. So, uh, there's that. He has the same articulation as all the other ones, being rotation in the arms and uh, bend in the elbow, as well as head rotation. Um, for people like uh, Freddy, Foxy, and Bonnie, they have ear movement, so so does he. He actually has ear movement in two different ways. He has stud friction um, right here, and then he has actual hinges right there. So he actually has a bunch of ear movement, uh, as well as having the uh, opening top and bottom jaw like all the others, because... That's something that is a staple with this sort of building series for F Five Nights at Freddy's. They all have moving mouths. Um, so, yeah, there's Springtrap. Uh, he's pretty similar to Bonnie in a lot of ways, but he's also a lot different uh, compared to Bonnie, being he's got holes in him and he's just got some other stuff going on. Um, but, yeah. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button down below to show me that you did. And, as always, if you haven't already, make sure to also hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. To make sure you don't miss out on any new content from the channel. And, I'll see you guys later. 